welcome back to Battle Brothers, where we are about to fight some zombies, some weeder gangers. Uh, ended up leaving here, uh, going to uh, let's see, Mark Fest, and uh, before we even got there, there was this little thing that popped up, and guess what, guys? We have a dog. Yeah, some mongrel was following us, and uh, it's had like three options: I either let it, you know, chase it off, put it down, which is kind of harsh. Or, you know, bring it into the group. And so we did. And now we got a dog named Battle Brother. And he's worth 200 bucks. So we'll keep him. I mean, I've, I've mentioned this before. Dogs, unless you can control them, like it says in the thing, they're only good for this. Unleashed after, you know, during battle to scout out things. Or tracking. That's kind of the same thing. Or running down enemies when they're routing. Otherwise, you don't want to rely on them for combat. So we're going to keep him as a mascot. I don't think I want to fight with him. <laughs> Let's do this. We got many weeder gainers and a few weeder gainers. Difference being the few are a little bit more uh, better equipped. So I changed one of our guys, this guy. He had uh, the morning star. I decided to give him a sword. It's because there's only a few of them, so I'd rather be able to chop through them a little bit better. I think it might be, you know, I could go more defensive with it. That way I'd actually get some hits. So let's do this. And then we'll see if we have enough money. I believe the village just south of us is the uh, one with the Fletcher, so we can get some nice bows. Okay, perfect. We're going to pop up here. I'm going to pop up here. And then... Probably kind of form like a little line right here so we can get some people on the high ground. But we'll save those shots, see if we can get something. And then we got to break up some of these guys. So let's see. I don't think they're going to get to us this quickly. So I'm thinking we're going to go like... Let's see how we're going to do this. You know what? I might actually hold this position. Say we put one here, here, and then curve it. So I need one there. Probably you. And then... I'm all kinds of messed up right now. There we go. Okay, I get you there. And then we just gotta space these guys out. So there's a sword, that's gonna be a spear, so you're gonna go there. So you need to go there, so that means you need to go there. You're done. You're done. And you need to come down here, that way we have a nice spear wall mixed in there. And then the next one for sure is we'll have to do spear walls. Maybe. They are quite slow. <laughs> I think this will work. That way no one gets... Otherwise I have to contend with that high ground. I'm not going to get all my guys over there. I guess there's one guy with a spear, one guy with a bludgeon. That's not too bad. So. 63. 71. Ooh. Let's go for the guy that actually has a weapon. Got him with a headshot. Very nice. Okay, you're done. All I got is this. So let's go for the... Uh, I guess. See if we can finish him. Nope. Almost. Almost. Okay, and then you go there. Perfect. This looks pretty good. If anything, I could always go over here with this guy. I don't think I'm going to do anything with you. I'm going to wait. He, These two might get close enough. And then... If anything, he's going to go here. So might as well wait that one turn. Just in case I'm wrong. We're going to wait for everybody here. Reload. 71, 71. Let's go for... Got him again. He's not dead yet, though. Again. <laughs> Alright, wait. Wait. Go spear wall with that guy. I'll wait. And then, let's see. Whoa, whoa, yeah, that's much better. Um, 70, 70... Oh, I didn't think about that. You get extra range if you go for the power shot now. Has that always been a thing? 10% chance to hit 2% per tile of the distance. Or minus 2% per tile of the distance. Like, the range, I never noticed, is so much better with that, too. Point. Okay. Never mind. Let's see. 66. I think we're going to go for one of these guys again. If I could kill this guy, that'd be nice. <coughs> He's still not dead. He is so close. Oh, he broke for the spear wall. And that's why I didn't tell those guys to skip. I mean, I skipped them. 
Definitely going to do spear walls next turn. I think I'm going to put him down here. Or put him there, I'm not sure. No, I'll keep him there. He can always flank if they don't go that way. Okay, and then I'm going to go for this. Because they can only attack once, remember, so... It's just if I get swarmed with that guy. Then... Just in case they go first, actually. I'm going to do that one. You know what, I'm going to do it too here. Just in case. Okay, you're done, gotta save your fatigue. Go after that guy a little bit. Finish that guy off. He got back up. Of course. Okay, reload. Let's see, 57. That's the guy that's almost dead, too. 69. Oh, I missed! Got that guy again. <laughs> Anyways, alright, wait for them to get closer. Okay, there's one spear wall working. Two. See, we didn't all go first this time, so that's just kind of why I decided to give him a spear wall, because, I don't know, like, sometimes our initiative, we go first, and then other times, they go first. It's kind of weird. I'm going to wait, see if anyone gets closer. Go up to that guy. Spear wall again, wait. Now he is dead. I'm going to spear wall again and wait. He's not going to make it one more, I think, if I attack, so I think we'll just spear wall and leave those three guys. That way I can do at least one more spear wall. Because it's quite effective. Um, like I could go right here and smack this guy, but then he's going to get overwhelmed. I think we'll hold. I'm just going to hold this line. He didn't have to attack anything. And we're going to save these guys' fatigue. Okay. Make this one count. 54, 60, 84. I think we shot at that guy. Another 84. So this guy's gotten somewhat. That guy was a little bit more worse for wear. Wait. Oh, almost got that guy. Come on, spear wall. If we can kill them in this last round, then it'd be great, because no one's going to get back up then. Okay, there's one more down. 67, 67, 48. Got him. Okay. Wait. If we can get this last group, we could win it. Almost. Like, I think these two are going to be the last ones we have to deal with. So no more spear walls because they're almost dead. And I already broken our line. Okay. Wait because this guy's coming. And then... Hack and Slash. And then Otmar. 76. Good hit. Ot or not Otmar. <laughs> sorry. Ragnarok. That's our old one. And then... One more. Okay. It's one. Two. Goodness sakes, three. It's not too bad, they're almost dead. Can I get one of these heavier set ones? 77. Oh, almost. Okay. Okay, he's dead. He's dead again. 46, 67. Our fatigue's getting there, so we have to finish this. Oh, come on, he's right there. Oh, I missed 81. I was hoping, I was deciding, do I wait for this guy or do I hit him? And I went for it, and he still missed. Okay. He's getting there, and then he's gonna come up. Got his shield, okay. No more get up. Oh, shoot. One, two, three. No more getting up. Just die. Okay. Good, he's not getting up. Finally got that one. Oh, come on. Reload. 72, 77. Got him. Okay. I mean, we're doing okay. It's just the fatigue. I don't think I risk this one. 50, 53, 55. Those are pretty bad odds. Uh, I'm going to move over here. Get a little closer in case they pop up again. Okay, he's almost there. In fact, I'm gonna go here. 
I'm gonna risk it so we can maybe finish this and put him back. Oh, come on. Oh, good. Did not go back. Okay. Get over here. Finish him. You're done. Um. I'm gonna put him here in case they get back up. I can do around the world. And then this guy is dead. Okay, good. <laughs> they caught up so many times. I forgot to even check the head count to see if these count every time we kill them. I'm pretty sure there's two, five, seven, uh, eight, <laughs> twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. I don't think there was seventeen zombies. That was a lot. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five levels. Um, decent helmet. We got some silverware, food, some gold. We didn't actually. I don't think we took that many hits, too. That was a decent fight. Plus, we got a free spear. That was decent. Okay. Uh, let's see. The spear took the most there. Spear. Spear. Yeah, he didn't take any hit. He took a little bit. It could have been repaired from the last fight, actually. I never finished. And then, yeah. We didn't really take any damage. Sweet. All right. Leveling up time. New guy. Where is he? Right there. I finally leveled up. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with this guy. What did he do? Oh, you're the first one. Let's see. What do we got? Executioner is always nice. Finish off somebody with a long shot. Or one shot, you know. Don't really need any of those. Don't really need anticipation. But sometimes they do get shot at. Backstabber. Underdog. Mm, I don't plan on them being surrounded. Let's do... Pathfinding, maybe. Could get him into a gooder, better position. Let's go for the headhunt. No, let's go for Executioner for now. We might do Pathfinding after we do one of these. Oh, no. What else we got? Reach Advantage. Learn to use the superior reach of large weapons to keep the enemies from getting close enough to land a good hit. With, uh, each hit with a two-handed melee weapon adds a stack of reach advantage that increases your melee defense by 20%. A single attack hitting multiple targets can add several attacks at once. With the start of each new turn, the amount of stacks is halved. If you put away your weapon, you lose all attacks. Oh, that's pretty sweet. That's really sweet. It's kind of like uh, Borderlands. They had that where um, you could stack bonuses up if you did certain things like you pulled off headshots or you killed somebody stuff like that but it makes sense I mean two handed people they've always had it kind of rough in this game so that makes it nice hold out threshold to receive injuries increased by 25 oh we might need to get that for some people lone wolf with no ally within 3 tiles of uh, distance gain a 10% bonus to melee skill range that's not bad but it's kind of I'd rather put it in something else footwork Rally the troops. Sergeant. What's this one? Use a sergeant on a battlefield as an extension of your leadership to keep everyone in line. Allies at a range of five tiles or less will get 15% of this character's resolve as a bonus added to their own up to a maximum of this character's resolve. That's cool. Rotation. Battle forged. Nimble. Specialize in light armor. Gain a bonus to your base melee defense as high as 50%. But reduced by uh, the weight of what you carry. Okay. That's kind of cool, too. Of course, we got that one. Fearsome. Do this. Become one of your weapon and go for the weak spots. With additional offhand free and additional... They had this one before. If you only used a one-handed weapon, but it didn't count for two. Does not work with two-handed, yeah. That's not bad. But I still like using shields. And then Killing Frenzy and Indomitable. So there's some really cool new ones, I think, in there. All right, let's see. Points. Oh, we got one four. For sure is going to go that way. Threes. Let's go for the range defense, or melee defense. His resolve's kind of low. He has 62 health. Let's go with the resolve there. Get a little closer to that 50 mark. All right, and then we're going to go with uh, executioner, I think. Headhunter is okay, but if he had the sword, I would definitely do it. But for now, I think I want to do brawny. 
Brawny could be a good one too. I don't think he's too worried about fatigue right now. Executioner. We could finish off things for sure with that though. Let's go ahead and get Executioner. And then points. Fatigue. Melee for sure. And then I think we'll go for range defense. It's a little bit on the low side. Oh man, that's so many levels. Alright, Lionheart is going to get. He is the juggler, so we're going to go with the headhunter for that extra 10% bonus. And then that way, when I get a flail, he's even more effective. And then we'll go. Oh, nice. Health. His resolve is so bad. We need to do that for there. And then do we do fatigue or. I think we're going to go for the melee. Oh, his fatigue is 73 or 77. Let's go for the melee. It's only 50. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That is pretty bad. Alright, a few more. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, I should have gone. No, I couldn't do that one yet, right? This one I'm going to go for the shield expert. And then your points. Nice, couple fours. Go for that one. Um, he has zero, so let's. I think we'll go for one of those. Uh, do I go for the four or the threes? He has 86 fatigue. I'm not too worried about that. And you could always get more of those. I'm going to go with that four just to get it up there to 40 something. And that way I won't have to worry about that for a while. We can focus on his uh, range defense. And then finally we'll go for fast adaptation. What kind of points? Some decent ones. Wow, he got. <laughs> Three fours and four threes. No, he got five threes. Sorry. Wow. Um, hmm. Oh, his resolve is so bad, I just realized. That is so bad. Like, no joke. If he got a couple bad hits on him, he would break. That's how bad it is. Okay, we'll put those there. Oh, my goodness. I never noticed how bad that was. And there we go. We got uh, some more gear. Okay, one last thing, and then we're going to go kill some stuff. So we definitely need a better helmet for these guys. But we got to start with the big ones. Yeah, that's our first one, really, besides this guy's. Um, let's see. Again, with the fatigue, 97. I think we're going to have to go with you. And then you can have his old one. And there we go. Okay. I'm going to fix that spear up. And there we go. I'm off. We're going to go... Let's see. I don't think we have enough money to get a bow. But we can go check. Holy cow. I went by this place, but it had I couldn't see what was in it, so I'm not going to do it. I mean, I, it could be a little chicken of me, but I've had such bad instances where it's usually the undead I have the most trouble with. Because you never know what you're going to get. And the worst thing I have troubles with is ghosts and vampires. Uh, if you guys don't know, the vampires can teleport. They pretty much they have fast footwork, so they can come in and out. Like, they literally would teleport next to a guy, stab at him, and then they could maybe, I don't know if it's the same turn, move away again. And they're also very hard to hit, and they always, they're very accurate with their weapons. So, they're very hard. Very hard to fight, especially early on. Okay, so this is what we want to go for. We need a thousand for a crossbow. Oh my goodness. I don't think we're going to get those for a while. But we can get a regular hunting bow. Which is a good step up. For 810. Alright, that's our goals. Let's see what kind of mission they have for three. Da -da -da. Fetch your attention, Wolfing. Da -da -da. All ears, okay. Bandits have been tearing up these parts of uh, for far too long. I sent a lad. Baldur's son to go find him and you know what only his head came back oh that's nice of course idiot bandit sent one of their own to deliver it we captured and interrogated him so now we know where they are at the man leans back peddling his thumbs over one another and thought um I don't I do not have the men but I do have the crowns what say you slip some your way and you slip a sword theirs how much crowns that's gonna be a big 760 crowns. 
Um, and he's tight, so it's not going to get any better. So I don't know. Um, we can push. 60 crowns in advance. I'm pretty sure that's as much as he's going to offer. Um, 760. All right. I mean, there's no time limit, so we have four, five days. That's why I pushed for the advance, because we can maybe go level up on a couple more things if it's too bad. It's in the forest, which I don't care to fight in. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of them that's going to be a pain. But let's go take a little peek. I'm trying to think of what else. There's, I guess we could always check the roads for bandits. I haven't really found, besides those other... Oh, we could always go after those other bandit camps. Many bandit raiders and a bandit leader. No. No, 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 no. I don't think we want to go after that. Like, we still got leather armor. If we were in chain, I'd feel better. Raiders are just going to truth through that. And a leader means he's going to have pretty good gear, and I don't have much to deal with that. In fact, we're going to... Sorry, I forget. Change that on you. This was... What was it? It was a thugs and raiders? Or raiders and some archers? Yeah, I think it might be a little bit easier. I don't want to fit, I don't want to quit because we got advancement, which is going to make unhappy points. Which wouldn't be too bad, but I've never done it yet, so I don't want to start now. But let me go think about it. We might end up having to go level up on these guys now that we do have some levels. We might level up on these two and then come back for that one, because that one's a little bit tougher. So. I found some bandits and then they were following me and I was like I don't know if I want to deal with them there's seven of them there's a few bandit marksmen and some bandit raiders but I knew there was some guys camped out around here at least they should be nearby and I was able to lure them over to a trap and so now if I engage these guys hopefully they'll jump in hopefully otherwise we're gonna have a whole mosh pit here oh my gosh we did get the whole mosh pit <laughs> did the caravan jump in you got the standard bear arb arbalisters some footmen like, I don't even care. We'll get some XP's maybe. Maybe some loots. <laughs> I just didn't want to fight them. Like like I said, until we get some... Um... Wow, these guys are decked out. Uh, until we get some chain armor. These guys are going to have way better armor than us. And they always have better weapons. Like, especially early stages when they got bill hooks. Those are just going to cut through us like paper. Um... I'm going to take the advantage here and I'm going to move forward a little because there's a lot of them coming forward first. 58, 37. Got the 58. Nice. As long as these guys go in front of us, we'll be fine. <laughs> like that. We might have to go after that guy with our zone. Actually, oh my gosh, they already killed one. Bandit marks and was slain here. Um, yeah, we need better crossbows and stuff, that's for sure. I'm gonna go. Hmm. For that guy? Oh, right in the face! It's what you get, son. Okay, and then we're gonna go. Like so. You know what? Actually, we're gonna go backpedal, because he has to go forward in order to hit one of us. Oh, shoot, he can actually go forward and hit one of us, anyways. Let's put you there. Maybe here. And then you're gonna go... Oh, you're gonna go there? Okay, I'm gonna go there then with that guy. You guys cover that flank. Yeah, these guys are so decked out. <laughs> Can you imagine having a fight with this many people? That would be cool. One day. Okay. I'm gonna stick Ragnarok there, I think. I'm going to stick you over here, fight with this guy. You're going to go there. I don't know what this guy is going to do. I think he's probably like a captain or something. He helps with the resolve and morale. Go there. And then go here. So hopefully we get these guys' kills and we still get the loots. I mean, some of his loots would be pretty nice. Nailed it. One more shot. What good shots these guys are too. Don't mess with these guys. Oh. Don't go for a double whammy because you're going to hit me. Alright. Reload. Go for this guy. Oh, Got him once. 
Like, if we could steal those kills, that'd be funny. Okay. And not die in the same process. That'd be nice, too. Okay. Um. I'm gonna hop here. Soften him up for you, hopefully. Because this guy, I don't know when he's gonna pop in there. Let's go for that guy. Let me try to knock him back. Oh gosh, another good shot. Hey, why would he? Oh, I guess to get to these guys. This guy's completely in trouble. <laughs> okay, don't steal that kill. Ragnarok needs it. Okay, I got that one. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't steal it! Do I risk kidding a guy I don't know? I think I do. Got that guy instead. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, this is... I gotta go after this guy. Got that kill. Boosted all these guys. Don't steal my kill. I swear. Okay, I'm gonna go over there. Come on, Ragnarok. Your moment. 75. Got it. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you missed that, there's a lot of people are gonna be judging you. Okay. Don't hit my guys. Don't do that. That's scary. Like, I don't know if they can hit my own guys, but I hope they don't. Oh, they got that guy. I was going to get him next. Well, we got, I think, two kills. That guy and this guy. And maybe this guy. Yep. Okay, we got one left. Going for it. Oh, we got him in the shield. Go ahead throw you there. Surround him with our own guys. That way they can soften them up and we can get the final blow. <laughs> See, you can use these guys to your advantage. I was just lucky they were home, to be honest. I've done this before and I ended up there was no one there. They were off doing some patrols. Okay. That's, I'm not going to risk that. That's pretty low. 12%. I'd probably hit my own guy and kill him. That would be pretty bad. Okay. Keep him moving. He can watch. Okay. Oh, he didn't go for the shot. He must not have felt comfortable with the odds. <laughs> Closer. Alright. Uh, you're pretty much done. You can't go anywhere. There's such a mob of guys. Can you get one more kill? Oh, he's got that last spot. One more spot maybe for this guy. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, no way! The standard barrier snuck in there and caught it. Oh, my goodness. It makes sense. He should be able to poke from two distance. I just didn't think he would. Uh, we got one, two, three kills. Some XPs. And, oh wow, we did get some good loots. We got a, a coif, and then we got another nice helmet. Short sword, we got a bill hook for our, uh, archers. I was kind of hoping we get something uh, nice and fancy. We got some more food. Ooh. We just got lucky. Literally, I was a little worried. They almost caught us, but there we go. Yeah, we need better stuff. I'm going to have to rewatch that video. It could have changed by now, but... Oh, look, there's another group. I just, I feel more comfortable with some better gear before we went after raiders. Raiders are just too iffy in my department. All right, so let's see. Don't need that really anymore. Got two spare helmets. Don't really need that short sword. I already have one and the extra weapons. We'll keep the bill hook. And give that to one of our guys in this helmet. So let's see. It's pretty much the same, 110. Oh, this one's actually 105. You can keep that one then. And then this one is 5 fatigue. So you got 77, 90. Probably gonna have to wear that one. And then this is uh, 70. And I always like to give to these guys because they don't have the vision and parity. But I have to worry about these guys first. So let's see, 77, what is this, 4? So that's 2 points more. Uh, 50 and 50. I guess we'll just give it to this guy for now. And you guys get some upgraded hats. Look at that. I'm spoiling you now. Alright. 
Done, done, and... Shh, I'm not quite done, timer. I was just a metaphor. Who's got the better melee? 53 and 54. Well, I guess you're going to be getting the bill hook, sir. So hopefully you can use it properly. <laughs> Actually, yes. No. Yeah, you might. I might give it to this guy. It depends. You might get enough points so I can start doing his melee instead of his archery, whereas this guy's only got the one. We'll find out. Later. <laughs> Oh, and we got this. I forgot we had silverware. Gives us some more change. Look at that. Okay. Keeping the hatchets. I uh, don't need that many extra hats. Keeping the shields. And there we go. Anything fancy we could get in here? Tools. We're actually doing really decent with the tools. So we'll, got, we'll get one while we're, we're rolling in it. There's another dog here. Brant the war dog. But like I said, I don't plan on using one. Everyone got bandages. I have extra bandages. Boar spear. I don't really need that at this point. So hopefully we'll be using better spears or weapons. And that would be depleting quite a bit of our money. But yeah, I think that should be about it. Save some money because we need to find some fights that we could probably actually win. I'm not too safe about um, some of these bandits. I'm going to get some grain while we're here maybe. There we go. I will see you guys next time.